Want to learn how to use the Beagle button? In today's Talk Funding Deep Dive, that's what we're going to do. So let's go. Let's get on with the show. Hello, Talk Funders. And here we are again for a Talk Funding Deep Dive with the Beagle team of Daniel and Dave. Sorry, the Beagle button team of Daniel and Dave. So I'm just going to hand it over to Daniel and Dave to give us a walkthrough deep dive of their really excellent product. Over to you guys. Thanks, Alan. Um, so simply put, we say that if there's a better product, we'll sniff it out. And we do that with our browser extension, the Beagle button. The problem that we solve is that if you ask them, 73% of people will tell you that they want to shop more sustainably, but they don't. Uh, and in reality, only 25% of people do. That's because the, they either forget or, or that they need to find sustainable alternatives or they struggle to, to incorporate those new habits into their lives. So our solution, the, the Beagle button, is a browser extension, which is a product that sits on top of your browser and interacts with you automatically as you shop online. We do that, as Dave is about to show you, um, with the recommendation engine, which essentially um, browses, looks at, we understand when you're on a product, uh, a retailer, and then we anonymously assess the product information. We feed that into uh, our matching algorithm and, and then scan our database for suitable alternatives, which we pop up with in real time. That may sound complicated to the user. It's very, very simple. You sit back, you say, I want that on my browser, on my browser, uh, and then you proceed to shop as normal. We love that browser extensions are sticky, and this is a really helpful way of tackling that, that oh, I've forgotten, or I, I don't know how to incorporate this into my life. Uh, and, and the Beagle button uh, is a really effective tool for, for helping people uh, address that challenge. Over to you, Dave. Absolutely. So yeah, going to risk the most dangerous of things a, a live demo. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how this goes. So hopefully you should be able to see my screen now. Yes, we got that. Thank you. Yeah. Great. So as a user, you come to our, our kind of place in the Chrome store. Obviously, I've already got it installed, but this would be the one, the one button that I would click. Then I've got the, uh, the, 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 the products up here. You can see it's grayed out at the moment because actually we don't work on the Chrome Web Store. We don't kind of give you recommendations for other browser extensions you should install. Although now we think about it, maybe we should. Uh, but what, where we do start to work is if you were to go on to a well-known retailer, you see the, blue, the, the button's gone blue. That basically means that now you're on a retail page. We're looking at the data on the page. We wouldn't be looking at it if you're on any other page. We can't read any data unless you're on a, a registered um, retail page. So for the live demo, imagine uh, if you can, that you're living through a, a global pandemic. Um, you might find yourself, I've, I've, got, I've got a link here of kind of... Uh, uh, face masks that you might find yourself searching for. So someone said, okay, go and buy these face masks. You're looking at them. Ah, what's this? The Beagle button has popped up. So rather than these kind of plastic disposable ones, which are only going to end up in one place and that's landfill, we've recommended actually you could buy a, um, a reusable version. It's made in the UK. It's made from organic cotton. What I really like about this guy is it's actually made from offcuts. So it's not even using new material to make it. As a user, you then click through. So you say, okay, I like all these things. These make sense to me. I'll buy better now. Then you go through to one of our brand partners, and this is where you would, you would make your purchase. So we can essentially introduce you to that, to that brand. And that has worked relatively smoothly for a live demo. So happy, happy with that. I'm going to uh, stop sharing my screen now. That's fantastic. And as we were saying in the main interview, I mean, I, I, show, uh, you know, I, I buy Clark shoes, <laughs> right? So I, I can go on the... Uh, the Clark's UK website and the same thing will be happening again. The Beagle button will pop up and um, look at different alternatives for shoes. So it really covers any, any products altogether. And in the main interview, you're also saying that it's at the moment, you're just at the stage in the development process of you're just, you're UK focused at the moment. And then you'll be wanting right. to expand out from that. Yeah. And I think it's important to note. So we, we lent on the community a lot and our users to help us, us grow about where we should be playing. And that's works in two ways. One is if there's a retailer that you're on and we're not popping up, you can let us know and we'll factor that in and make sure that we're popping up going forwards. And same goes for products. You can either tell us, actually, this is a product that I, I want a sustainable alternative for, 
the Beagle button hasn't popped up with anything, but I'd like it to in future, and we'll flag that product and go, okay, we, here's a gap in our database that we need to fill. Or if you're particularly passionate about sustainable products and you're like, oh, I love this. The example I use is this zero waste hair product. You can examine the results here. Um, yeah, it's like, oh, I'll just share that with everybody because I love this product and I want people to know about it. So you can flag that in the tool as well and yeah. we'll take it into the database and go, oh, check this out. We should be, we'll examine their sustainable credentials and if they pass and they, they make it onto the database, then we'll share that product with other users as well. And all I think right. just to, I mean, yeah, all, all absolutely great, great points and exactly how we, we lean on the crowd. I think the final point, which is which is worth noting about how we lean on the crowd is we are still in the beta stage of our journey. So we're constantly improving both our catalog of products and our matching algorithm. Every now and again, we don't quite get it right. That's why it's a beta. There's always going to be something that doesn't quite flow perfectly. We might show you a recommendation that doesn't quite match the products that you're looking at. You can just let us know within the pop-up. Say, actually, this is a bad match. Uh, don't show me this again. And equally, we will then feed that through to the very intelligent kind of algorithms working in the background to say, okay, that's not the right product. That's not the right recommendation for that product you're looking at. And hopefully we'll stop making those, those mistakes going forward. Um, I just love the interaction with the crowd and how you're really developing the product uh, 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 with, with, with your crowd and developing that. So from a crowd perspective, can, like if I wanted to join you guys today um, on the Beagle Button team, um, can I can I go to this Google App Store and, and download it? I mean, can we do it today or do we have to go through a joining process or anything? It's a slightly no. longer joining process. Yeah, exactly. Like you say, the, the, the reason purely being that we're still in this beta stage of our journey. We know that if you if you launch a product too early, when when it's not quite ready for the broader public, um, it, it can you know it can, it can just go wrong. People who expect it to work perfectly won't be as, as forgiving as our sort of early user group. So for that reason, we've held off on opening the taps of PR and marketing, um, but until we, we're really ready that it's, it's time for that, that public launch. Having said that, if you go to our website, joinbeagle.com, you can join our mailing list and we will we can invite you as a, as a beta user with that idea that, you know, we are, we're, still, we're still opening up the crowd. We're just trying to keep it to uh, people who understand what they're getting themselves in for with a, with a product testing. And going back to your offering on Cedars at the moment, I suppose that would, you know, that would be something that we, for the people who are in potential talk funders and C and Cedars investors, that could be something that they could do themselves where they could contact you in, and begin that engagement with you and, and your great company and start using the product and, and, you know, seeing if it's a, if it's a, if it's a right fit for their investment. So uh, absolutely superb. Well, thank you very much, um, Daniel and Dave from the, uh, I was going to call it the Cedars team, from the Beagle Button team, who are live on Cedars. Uh, it's been a really enjoyable and very clearly and concise uh, deep dive about how to use this product. So thank you very much, guys. We're going to do a follow-on um, interview now uh, on the backstory, because I want to, find, want to find out about your guys. I mean, the, there's humor in, in, on, the, on the Cedars page, so I really want to uh, a lighthearted light approach to how your entrepreneurial journey to get you to this point, to be sitting as a very very successful st startup here in the uk um you know, uh, let's do this backstory okay guys thank you very much for doing the deep dive today thank you so much bye now